Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. Ka-chow! <laughs> Where do I even begin? For years now I've been wanting this set and I finally got it. If there's something I should tell you guys right now, if there's something that you truly want more than anything, be patient and the good will come to you. And that's exactly what happened today. Because today on eBay, I was lucky enough to purchase this Flows V8 Cafe from Mattel from the canceled Precision Series line that only lasted from 2015 to 2017, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2018. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't around um, in 2020. Sure, it is a premium line and a lot of the pieces are quite expensive. Being one of the most rare ones is this bad boy right here, or bad girl. It is a Flows V8 Cafe that was released in 2015 from the Cars Precision Series line. I got this on eBay for, people are probably gonna get pissed when they hear this, over a thousand dollars. I've been saving up for months now to get this. This is the last Precision Series set that I need to complete my town. Well, you know, until they canceled it because we were still missing the courthouse, Doc's Clinic, and a bunch of other buildings. But yeah, this is the last official building that Mattel released that I was missing and the most rare one. So welcome everyone. And in this video, we're going to be comparing the Flows Cafe, well, unboxing it, of course, and comparing it to the supercharged one that I used in a monthly, was it a monthly unboxing? No, but it was in an interactive unboxing video a couple months back. I think it was last year, maybe. But yeah, we're gonna be unboxing this. And oh my goodness, I, I could just not express how happy I am to have this set. So thank you guys so much for the support and let's get to the review. So at the front here, it says Cars Precision Series. It has flow right here and there's an insert where you can put your finger in to light her up. We're gonna have to change those batteries because they are quite dull. It says Flo's Cafe right there. There's the packaging. Very nice. Cars Precision Series. If we turn it on the top right here, or if we look at the front here, it's or the top panel, Flo's V8 Cafe, Cars Precision Series, and then there's a button or an insert there where you can test out the lights of Flo's Cafe, which we will demonstrate right now. It just hits different. Those turquoise lights just hit different I and mean, it looks beautiful. The sign just looks so grand. It looks phenomenal. I love it. So here's the back, Cars Precision Series. Adult collector, this product emits flashing lights at 50 or five to 30 cycles per seconds. On the back here, it says, Flo's V8 Cafe offers the finest fuel in 50 states. Wow and is everybody's favorite place to hang out. Yep. The town's residents gather there every day to sip oil, gossip, and collect pearls of wisdom from seeing it all flow. Exclusive light up flow. And then you got a whole view of the cafe. And this is probably one of the most movie accurate cafes out there. So it's just a shame that it's so expensive and rare. If it wasn't, I would tell everyone, go get it. But if you do want this, trust me, if you save up, and if you wait patiently, it'll come to you. I've been saving for, I, I've been wanting this since the day I got all of these sets. And I remember when I got the Cozy Cone, I was like, wow, I, I just need to get flows. I want it now. And here we are a couple of years, like two, three years-ish later, because the cones came out in 2017 around Cars 3 time. Here we are, finally we got it. I've been waiting so long and I'm so happy to have it. Anyways, without further ado, Let's get to the unboxing, shall we? I think we just pull on here. I'm not going to keep this sealed. I want to use this for my diorama. diorama and I actually want to play with it because it looks so damn amazing. So let's... Hmm. I, that's just one thing I don't like about the Precision Series. It's kind of difficult to unbox. I mean, I don't see Mattel doing easy opens for these, so... Alright, let's see here. 
Let's fast forward this, shall we? All right, so out of that packaging blister or whatever, we got the cafe with a red background. And on the side over here, we've got the road pieces and pavement pieces. So let's take a look at those. Where are my trusty scissors? There we go. Snip. And snip. So here are two of the road pieces. Or pavement pieces, I should say. And here are the others. They're all different sizes, so. We'll look at the instructions to see which one goes on what side. Oh, there's an adapter piece for story sets. And then here's the road piece. Alrighty. Vamos a ver aquí, a ver, a ver, a ver. Flows VA Cafe instructions. Please keep these instructions for future reference as they contain important information. Bottom view, if this plastic tab is still attached to the place, pull it out and dispose before play. A, B, C, D, one flow includes three AG13 LR44 button cell batteries for the vehicle. Yeah, I got some extras right here. Assembly, okay, we'll do that in a bit because flows are still in the package or cafe. Battery replacement. Oh, ooh, the batteries are on the top of the roof of the building. That's an interesting design. All the other sets have it on the bottom of the base. Clever. Okay, so, oof, this is gonna be a hassle. Let's see, where do I start? Let's start at the, uh, at the sign, I guess. But again, let's fast forward this. Okay, so there's that wire still attached to it, so let's go ahead and pull that out. There we go. There we go. I guess para ya, mijo. All right, let's see here. Um, oh, it's a ghost flow. And the sign comes off, apparently. Unless I just broke that, but nah, I doubt it. There we go. That should attach on there. Let's take off the ghost flow. See, on another level of creativity, you can have fun with just a blister. You just snip it off, right? You put that on flow. And there we go, boys. Spooky season is among the horizon. So, boom. Let's customize this, shall we? No, I'm not going to do that in this video. But hey, you, that, I mean, that's an idea that you can do with your die cast for this Halloween season. Now, how am I going to get those dang blisters out? Or plastic pieces. I don't know. Those are kind of stuck on there. Kind of tight on there. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll do that in a bit. But for now, I want to focus on putting on those road pieces. So, A would be... Hmm. Oh, this one. Super tiny right there. A. So that goes on this side. Alrighty. Oh, there's some more info right here. There's stickers for the... Yeah, they seem to be stickers for the play mode, the light sensor, and the actual, you know, off switch. Okay. Let's take a look at the front here. Obviously, at the front, it would be the road. But first, you need to put... Okay, yeah, so road first, then C. Oh, that's not the road. That's more pavement. Huh. That's interesting. It's got quite the perimeter around the building. All 
All right, so now we need to put this one over here. Huh, nothing goes over here. Well, that's kind of sus. I would have thought something would go there. Let's put this right on here. There we go. That's the whole cafe. Wow, it's actually a lot bigger than I expected. Mainly because of the perimeter, because if we do an aerial shot up here or a bird's eye view, there is a size comparison of the two cafes. So we might as well get to the comparison of this. So these spark plugs, I'm presuming that's what they're called, are yellow and then over here they're transparent. Uh, looking at the, the domes here, the V8 sign is a lot larger and it's actually not in red letters like this one. And this one, you can open up, boom, boom. It can open up to like a whole place, I think. This one, you can't because it's accurate to the movie and whatnot. And this one has a little spinning thing up here. I'm guessing you can use that to pull out the, the battery power pack when you disassemble it. Over here, it does spin as well. It's a lot more firmer. Um, looking at the signs here, this one spins around, not with a mortar or anything. I mean, you can spin it with your hand. And this one, oh, you can also move this one somewhat. Yeah, you can. So then the perimeter of the buildings, I mean, it just doesn't compare. This is way bigger, better. And even right here, the actual gas stations are slightly larger, it seems. Maybe about the same size, if I'm being honest here. It's just this one over here has a ramp for flow to go up in. And this one doesn't. This one you just go directly inwards. And this one up the back here, it has a launcher, a spark plug launcher. There you go. And this set did not come with a vehicle. I'm using the Precision Series single flow to demonstrate with that one. But if we put the camera down, let's compare this flow to this flow. So this is the one from the set and this is the Precision Series single one. Obviously the Precision Series single one, you can open up the hood and there you go. You can see her engine. This one you cannot, but it does have that light up feature. The molds do seem to be different. This one seems a lot thinner. The eyes are obviously different. They both have rubber tires as the Precision Series do all have, you know, the vehicles. The tires um, are a little bit thicker, it seems. She has a green base over here and a black base over here. Multiple screws around the base. Uh, grayish panel up the back here. And then over here is more transparent gray, darker gray, I should say. Um, the taillights do light up, which is amazing. I don't think mine has a license plate. So is this an error? Goodness me, what is it with me and getting errors these days? Yeah, it doesn't seem like I have a license plate on mine. You guys let me know if you have this set. Does yours have a license plate or is it just mine that's an error? Hmm. And she has yellow on the sides there and this one has a more turquoise, less tinted yellow color, that's for sure. It's not even yellow. So there are the tires, there's the top, and there's the front. So now putting off flow to the side here, when you put it onto that play mode we were talking about, it turns on automatically. Ta-da! Fantastic. It looks beautiful. I like it. Can we turn the sign? Yeah, you can. You can turn the sign. That is really cool. So, if you press the button on the top over here, it should go into what I call party mode, where the lights just go crazy. And we'll see that right now. So they start flickering, they turn off, and then they all just start going crazy. Yep, there you go. So that essentially I call the party mode or the dance light show, whatever. Um, that's one of my favorite features about these precision sets is that they had two light features. Um, Sarge's had three light features where it would go from yellow lights to um, green lights, then the party mode. So it had an extra set of green lights, which was pretty cool. Um, so this, this looks amazing. I, I love it. And there's the gas station right there. There are the pumps. Yes, you can move them down. Only in one direction, that is. And there is the side. Got all those cans. Let me turn these off real quick. Nice. They turn off quickly. I like that. So here is the side of those cans. There's the inside of the cafe. You got lots of pumps in there. 
Can we read those? Tulsa T. Uh, no idea what that other one says. Oof, that's hard to focus on. Yeah, that is quite difficult to focus on. Yeah, I can't focus on that one. Okay, if we turn it around towards the back here. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can put this if you have any story sets. I personally don't use these adapters for my precision sets, so I just don't use that. But yeah, looking on in the inside here, very nice. And I think there is lights inside here for the set. Is there? Let's wait for those to, yep. Well, no, it's just a round. I don't think there's any lights in, oh wait, there is a light inside. Yep, there's a light inside, that's pretty cool. Um, something I liked about this supercharged set, however, was the fact that you could turn this table right here. And this one over here, the cranium version, Oh, the sign just flicked off. My bad. This one over here, you can't do that, which is a bit of a shame because I actually liked turning that base on the other set. But yeah, looking at the side over here, there's just more of the cafe. I mean, it looks fantastic. Once you have your cars in here and everything, I mean, it'll look absolutely phenomenal. I'm certainly going to do photography with this set for my Piston Cup Productions Photography Academy on Instagram. But I mean, this set is just amazing. Um, if I had a complaint, is probably this sign right here, how it doesn't, you know, like with this sign over here, you could read it vice versa. But over here, the lettering is backwards. And I mean, you can only turn to a certain extent, which kind of sucks. We're going to go put this on my diorama and see, oh, <laughs> wrong flow. We're going to put this on my diorama and see how that looks. I also forgot to mention that this one does have LED lights and it's hidden under the launcher right here there's an off switch and there's an on switch but the only thing that would turn on were these right here nothing else would turn on which is a bit disappointing but now i'm going to be giving this one to my brother for his collection i just noticed this did not have that thing right there all the other sets would include this but now for some reason this set did not and i'm presuming it's because it was the first set release and they didn't think of that and they thought of it later but yeah, I mean, oh well, I mean, I, I have the posters, but you know, I just thought I'd mention that. All right, so I have that light turned on because I thought it would be too dark, but it's actually, I mean, this whole table is so lit up that, I mean, the reflection just of the cafe, you can see it bouncing off a bit on this wall over here. I mean, it's fantastic. Worth the $1,000? Heck yes. But at the same time, I wish I got it back when... You know, it was released in 2015. Um, I remember back when Toys R Us was closing, some Toys R Us's had this in stock, and it was as low as 50 bucks. And the original price of this was around 125 bucks or less, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, um, hey, moral of the story, save up, and you can get gems like these. And I'm very happy to have it, because, I mean, look at those lights. I mean, it looks incredible. I added those little oil cans to make it look kind of, you know messy or whatnot like the cafe after a full day of working at flo's va cafe um i changed the batteries in her led lights or in the die cast but they seem to be just really dim um i don't know if it's just mine but yeah they don't light up that much but now let's get some different shots of the cafe because i mean here it is on the diorama and it connects perfectly oh and i added in the phone that came with radiator springs vietnam queen and put it right there next to Ramones and yeah it looks a lot better than when I had the supercharged one because the supercharged one the cafe sign would hit with the post over here or the the street light but now you've got this whole crossing right here and it's just so perfectly balanced as all things should be okay so I'm gonna turn off this light right here and let's see what it looks like oh that looks amazing Let's get down here and let's see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Wow. Would you look at that? Now this looks incredible. It really does. Look in there. What do you guys see? Look at that. Look at that. Let's get a focus right there. Is that a hair? Hmm. Mattel, you left some of your employees' DNA in here. Oh, it's stuck on there. Never mind, got it off. Ew. 
Anyways, look, you can see Flo right over there. She's in a shaky cam. And Lizzie's looking right at her. <laughs> this is so cool. Look at the oil cans. It looks so realistic. Wow. I mean, it's just a shame that Doc's clinic got canceled because if it didn't, it would have gone right in between Sarge's and Flo's. But I mean, Sarge's fence is helping to, you know, have this as a border so that the cars, you know, have somewhere to park. Um, but meanwhile, over here, you got all this space and you can even go to the phone and whatnot. And stop right here and look at the stoplight blinking three times with um, Harvey Rodcap or any of your cars, really. I mean, it just looks absolutely fantastic. The LEDs, everything is just so beautiful. The turquoise color they used, everything. Oh, my knee popped. <laughs> everything just looks amazing. They did a fantastic job. Honestly, one of my favorite precision, precision series sets. If I had to choose my top three favorites, my absolute top three favorites, it would be Flo's Via Cafe, Luigi's, and I think either Fillmore's or Ramon's. It's a tie between those two. But yeah, top three, Flo's, Luigi's, and uh, Ramon's or Fillmore's. I, I just love the lights of Fillmore's Dome over here. Look at that. It's fantastic. And then Mater's up over here. Oh, it's got the ghost light. And that's fantastic. And you can even tilt it. Look at that. Wow, I mean... It's just a shame they had to, uh, you know, cancel this line because, I mean, look at that. Every single little details from the movie are here. party mode so let's press this once and let's see radiator springs on party mode <laughs> So that's going to be pretty much it for part one of the Flo's V8 Cafe Precision Series set review. Stay tuned next Saturday for part two, where Jackson Storm and Francesco Bernoulli will go head to head in a race down Radiator Springs. Thank you all so much for watching and Piston Cup Productions signing out. Until next time. See you later.